Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. This is Requested Video Saturday, which I really enjoy doing. I plan on continuing this in 2024. Remember, if you have a requested video, if you write it in the comments below, I will maybe see it, but it's really best if you have a video that you want me to do on any topic, it's best if you email me, and you can find my email in the description. So please send me an email, put requested video. I keep it in a special folder. So that would be really helpful. Okay, now this video request, and I haven't done one of these in a while, is how to start a YouTube channel in 2024. And this particular young lady asked a bunch of different questions. I will answer them to the best of my ability. First of all, I've been on YouTube a little over six years. I am not a YouTube expert. We know I am a, have a medium-sized channel. There are channels that do a lot better editing. I barely do any editing whatsoever, let's just be honest. They make a lot better thumbnails, a lot better titles. So in a way, I mean, I'm not a total expert on how to have a great big YouTube channel. I'm just sharing that. There's a lot of people out there that have a lot more knowledge than me. And as a matter of fact, if anyone ever wanted to start a YouTube channel, you could just search on YouTube, how to start a YouTube channel, what kind of equipment do I need, how to, what is the best editing software. You could research all sorts of stuff right here on Fabulous YouTube of people that have a lot more information than me. But I'm going to answer these questions to the best of my ability and give you some tips and tricks that are my personal opinion. Okay, first is how do you pick a channel name? Well, you're going to want to know what your quote niche is. Now, just because somebody picks a topic, you know, you've got minimalism channels, you've got travel channels, you have frugality channels, you have true crime channels, you have fitness channels, you have people that are going on a journey type channel. There's all different kinds, arts and crafts, you know, health and beauty, anything you can imagine. So kind of pick your quote main topic. It doesn't mean every single video has to be there, but remember whatever topic you pick, there could be, it could be like an umbrella with a lot of spokes. There could be a lot of things that fit into that topic. Example, if you, let's say you wanted to do a cooking channel and it was just, you know, your basic, you know, family food, easy meals. We'll say it's like an easy meal channel. You could do one video on showing your favorite cookbooks, another one on, you know, favorite kitchen gadgets. You could do a grocery haul video about what ingredients you're buying. You could have, you know, one day where you're doing desserts, one day where you're doing main meals, one day where you're doing breakfast. So you can do all sorts of things that kind of go along with that and then occasionally do something that's totally off topic. You know, but when you do, one of the things your viewers like to know is what they're going to expect when they come to your channel. What kind of videos? How long are they generally? How often does the person upload? What are most of the topics going to be about? You know, because there's so much variety on YouTube, which I love that. So you're going to want to know that first. So how to pick your channel name. I would just do a brain dump. I started asking a bunch of people's opinions. I wrote tons of stuff down. Unfortunately, a lot of the things that I originally thought of was... Uh, basically taken by other people but I came up with and someone else helped me come up with it sensible living with money mom but with C and I think it's good now people call me money mom for short but really my channel name is sensible living with money mom which I'm never gonna change that some people change their channel name I am not going to but just basically write down a bunch of ideas and see how it feels to you but then also check and see if anyone else has that name that's really important to do that but take your time doing that okay next how do you come up with topics so let's just say I'm just gonna come up with this let's say you want to be a cooking channel um, you know come up with topics well it depends on what you're talking about what type of cooking are you doing and start researching and looking out what's out there so let's say that you want to do um, you grew up in a uh, Scottish family and you want to do all your videos on Scottish cooking okay and so you're gonna research maybe other Scottish cooking channels and see what they're doing that type of thing but research what else is out there I mean the best place to research is YouTube honestly and so just kinda do your research see what's kinda trending and see what's out there and I keep a notebook I should have had it with me and whenever I have an idea I jot it down some videos I do turn out well and I get good views some people don't have as much of an interest sometimes you just don't know what people might be interested in but that's okay it can kind of surprise you either way but basically just 
any, just keep a notebook with you at all times and jot down ideas all the time. And then if you have videos that interest you that you think you might want to do something like it, I save it in my watch later and refer back. So I never run out of ideas. There's so many places you can get them. So that would be one other thing that I would definitely do. Okay, next question is, hey, how do you learn the do's and don'ts of YouTube? Because you're right, you want to follow community guidelines and there are certain things that maybe would not be okay to do on YouTube. So where, to, and I'm not an expert in that, but I can tell you two YouTube channels, I'll link them in the description below. And also I'm gonna email them to you because I know who emailed me. One is called, uh, channel is called Creator Insider and the other one is called YouTube Creators. They're both YouTube channels that tell you everything about YouTube that you need to know. I will go ahead and give that or send that to you. Another question that was asked is, hey, how do you make thumbnails? One thing I will tell you is all I do is have pictures of, of me. The thumbnails that I notice people are not as interested in are what I call stock photos. It seems like whenever I have a photo of my home or the item, it seems like those videos do much better than uh, just a stock photo. So just taking a picture of you, there's even some videos that I don't do a thumbnail at all. <laughs> really, I mean, some people will say, what's more important, the thumbnail or the title? I don't know what you guys think. Sometimes it's a combination. I think it can depend on the topic too. But I do think title, something that's going to grab people, is really important. Okay, so that's for the thumbnail. Another camera setup. Many people, they don't go buy a camera or go buy anything. They just use their phone. I would start off small and just practice. But honestly, the best thing to do is do your research on YouTube and look up the, of experts. What are they telling you to do? But I would just start off small. Some of the most popular YouTube channels aren't ones that are, quote, polished channels. They're everyday people sitting at their kitchen counter wanting to share their life. And so you don't have to be perfect, you know, and you can also do practice videos if you want. Here are some tips that I wrote down. First one, which I already kind of went over, pick a main topic that you want your channel to be about, whatever that may be. Mine is kind of frugality, but I do other things too besides frugality, okay? And it could be anything that interests you. Number two, pick an upload schedule. It doesn't have to be every day like me. You could say, I'm going to upload twice a week. Let people know when you're uploading and be consistent. That is very important. Number three, this is just my view. I know I can get rambly at times, but most of my videos are five minutes or less. If you can get to the point and not do a long intro, I really think that's important because you can end up losing people. I know I can even belabor points, but really trying to get to the point, no matter how long your video is. Okay, this one is really key, this next one, and hear me out on this. When I started YouTube six years ago, there were more videos on people telling people how to do things. Not that those aren't interesting videos, like how to set up a budget, you know, how to save money. All those videos can do very well. I'm not saying they can't. But what I notice is a lot more popular now. It are even And even one was popular then, and I want to share somebody that I follow back then, are what I call channels where you're following someone's journey. I remember years ago, was it eight years ago, I started following Budget Girl, and she started off on a small income paying off all of her college debt. And it was really interesting watching that because in the title, she would put how much debt she had, and you would see it lower. And she would share her budget with you, so you were following along on her journey. Now, what you could do, and I've seen um, journeys like this. I saw several channels where you follow their cancer journey, and seeing what they're going through. There's weight loss or exercise ones. Single again, widowed, divorced, you know, reinventing yourself. Oh, newly retired, van life. Uh, taking your life back in any way. Leaving a religion. There's been a lot of those. You know, paying off debt. Uh, also a major career change. 
you're now a minimalist. There's so many things where people just want you to share their life. It may be that you have a health problem, like maybe you have rheumatoid arthritis and you're going through different treatments and finding, you know, alternative treatments and you want to share your journey about what you're going through. And there's going to be people that are like, wow, I have rheumatoid arthritis too. I want to find out about that. Or you know what? There's There was one lady and her channel is doing well. She has a child that has uh, child diabetes. And so she goes through to tell how she manages her child's diabetes, tips and tricks. Always you have to check with your doctor and the, she'll tell you that. But I saw that come up on YouTube and she's helped a lot of people. And then other people, if they have a child that has diabetes, they watch that channel and they can kind of share. So you have community there. So that is something that's really important. If any of you want to do a YouTube channel, think about what you're going through in your life. And if there's a journey or a major change in your life that you're going through, it could be you left everything behind and you're starting over in your life. People love that kind of stuff and they'll watch it. I mean, there was one lady that was paralyzed from the neck down and she did a video. Another lady had gone blind and she did all these videos. Somebody else, her husband was diagnosed with dementia. They went through the entire journey with that. I mean, I think it's incredible. We can learn so much and then people can find support, which is really good. I know this video went way over five minutes. I knew it was going to because it answers a lot. I hope for anyone that wanted to start a YouTube channel that some of this is informative to you. Remember, I am not an expert. I'm just giving you some ideas, some tools, some possibilities. You can just put them in your little toolbox if interested, but always do your own research. Find experts. I'll link a couple channels below that I find very informative. If any of you were going to start a YouTube channel, what would the channel be about? I want to hear from you in the comments below. And before signing off, I want to say one of you from YouTube, there was no card, sent me this lovely gift basket. I haven't opened it up yet. My husband actually wanted to dig into it, but I told him not yet. I think it's beautiful. It has all sorts of foods in it. And I want to say I'm extremely appreciative of you taking the time, sending me this gift basket. I really thank you from the bottom of my heart for your thoughtfulness. So if you tell me who you are, I'll send you a lovely thank you card. Thank you so much, everyone. I love you. I appreciate you. And please come back for tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye now.